on how to solve linear inequalities. Now, if you already know how to solve equations, you've got an excellent start. Um, so what this usually involves is um, isolating the x term, doesn't it? OK, so that you um, find the value of x. So in this case here, if I was doing this two step equation, I would get 2x equals 8 and then I would divide by 2, of course, and I would get my final answer to be x equals 4. And of course, I could substitute it back in and check that it works. and It does. OK, it's no different when it comes to a simple inequality such as this one. So the first thing I'm going to do again is just to subtract 3. Um, and what I get is that 2x then is less than 8. OK, so same numbers. It's just that I've got this less than sign in the middle instead of an equal sign. The next thing I'm going to do is to divide by 2 and I get x less than 4. OK, now again, I can test some values out to check that it works. So I could put 3 in. 2 times 3 is 6. Add 3 is 9. 9 is certainly less than 11. I could try a number that's greater than 4, such as 5. Um, if I put that in, I get 13. So that doesn't work. OK, so I can see it works for sure. All right. And of course, over here, I can see that when it is equal to 4, it's actually equal to 11. OK, so if you would like to practice that skill, OK, just the same as solving equations, except there's an inequality sign instead, then feel free to pause this video now and go ahead and do that. OK, I am going to do it myself in a second. OK, so I'll give you a chance to pause. And if you have paused and you've done that, hopefully um, 3x less than 3. So we should have got there x less than 1. Here in this one, I was going to add 4 to start with. OK, so I'm going to end up with 5x greater than or equal to 30, x greater than or equal to 6. In this one, I subtract 7 first to get 4x um, greater than 28. So 1x is equal, uh, sorry, equal to greater than 7. And in this one, the same thing, it's just opposite ends. Um, I'm going to add 5 first, so I get 12 less than 2x, um, and I divide by 2, so I get 6 less than x, or x greater than 6. I personally prefer to write that with the x first. So these are like crocodile's teeth, they eat the bigger thing. So x is greater than 6. Next. Okay, so be careful though, because if you are ever in the position that you have to multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, then you must switch the inequality sign around. So a less than becomes a greater than, um, a, a greater than or equal to becomes a less than or equal to, for instance. So let's do an example. In this one, again, I want to isolate the x term. So I'm going to subtract 13 as my first step. OK, that leaves the minus 3x on its own. And 7 subtract 13 is negative 6. Now I find myself in that, you know, cautionary position that I need to now divide by a negative number to get the x on its own. OK, now minus 6 divided by minus 3, I can work out. That's fine. So I'm dividing by minus 3 here. OK. And on this side, I would get x because minus 3 I'm sorry about the handwriting here. Minus 3x divided by minus 3 um, is x. All right, let me tidy that up. That's awful. Um, so I'm dividing by um, negative 3. OK, um, so I get x here. OK, but remember this switches. OK, so the actual final answer is x less than 2. Remember, a negative number divided by another negative number is a positive number. And I could, of course, go and check some numbers. So what number is less than 2? 1 is. OK, so put 1 in here. 13 minus 3 times 1. 13 minus 3 is 10. It's greater than 7. So it works. OK. All right. So if you would like to check that, check your understanding there and have a go at some questions, you're more than welcome. Again, feel free to pause the video and I will run through these very quickly now. So minus 21. OK, we're going to end up with minus 8x greater than or equal to negative 8. So x, now we've, we're dividing by a negative number at this point. So we're going to flip this and minus 8 divided by minus 8 is 1. So we get x less than or equal to um, 1. Let's put in my step there that I did. OK, in this next one, OK, my first step might be to subtract 5. OK, so I get minus 4x less than Eight. OK, now I'm in that position again where I have to divide by a negative number. I'm going to be divided by minus four in this case to get the x term on its own. So I get x 
Um, eight divided by minus four is negative two, and I'm going to, to flip this inequality sign, so x greater than minus two. Okay, next example then. So I've now covered that one. Now, this is much easier, actually. <laughs> I've done it in, a, in, a, in an odd order, but there we go. That was so important, I had to like cover it quite quickly um, at the start. Well, not quite quickly, but I had to you know, make it a priority. In this one, I want to make it so that my final answer is x on its own in the middle, uh, with the inequality signs around it. At the moment, this x term is 2x minus 1, so I need to isolate the x to be on its own. The most obvious thing to do first, that I should be doing first, is to add 1. Okay, so I get 2x in the middle, and adding 1 to each of these, I get 14, and I get 6. And then just, uh, sorry, dividing by 2 at this point. So note that I'm not dividing by a negative number, I don't need to do any flipping or anything. Um, so what I get then is 3, and seven, okay? So x lies between three and seven, all right? Um, a couple of examples here, here's Homer cheering you on. So in this one, I mean, feel free to pause if you like, or we'll run through now, um, minus two. So we get three x, if we subtract two from both sides, we get 21 and we get six, and then we divide by three, okay? So we get this answer. Okay, in this one, I'm going to take away 3 first of all, so I get minus 8, I get 4x, and minus 3 from this one, I get 16, um, put the inequality signs in, and I'm just dividing by 4, positive 4, so it's minus 2x, and 16 divided by 4 is 4, okay? Next, letters on both sides, how about this? So, just like, you know, I'm sure you don't have any problem knowing what to do in this case. All right, it's the same thing. What I'm going to do is aim to move the smallest x term first. So I'm going to subtract, in this case, because it's positive, I'm going to subtract 3x. Um, so I get 2x minus 3 greater than 5. I'm then going to add 3 to both sides. Okay, so we get 2x greater than 8 and then divide by 2 and we get an answer of x is greater than 4. Okay, there's my nice worked example. And um, another one here, okay, just for fun. Okay, so you might like to pause this, um, have a go yourself. In this case, um, you've got um, the minus 2x being the smaller of the two x terms, so I'm going to add 2x to move it. Okay, uh, so I get 7 greater than 5x minus 8. Um, I'm then going to try and get the x term on its own, so I'm going to add 8 to both sides. Oops. Um, so I get 15 is greater than 5x, and the last job I've got is to divide by 5. So what I get then, 15 divided by 5 is 3, uh, is greater than x, and as I said previously, I like to just write the x first. So x is less than 3. Okay. All right, so I hope that that's been really nice and clear for you and it's raised your confidence in this topic. If it has and you're enjoying my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. It really does help others to find me. Okay, best wishes. Hope that all your work in the future on this topic goes well now.